are you familiar with SQL Server assemblies uh, and can they cause assertions or I am corruptions? So me personally, I'm not that familiar with assemblies. It's one of those things where I'm just like, if you know C Sharp really well and you want to write extended DLLs that you're going to put into SQL Server's memory space, if you want to do that, I'm cool with it as long as you show me how you do memory troubleshooting. Show me how you can tell if you've got a memory leak or how much memory your process is consuming on a regular basis. If you can't show me that, then I'm probably going to have problems. But as long as you can show me that, I don't really care. I don't go into diagnostics. I'm like, look, if you want to do that, that's on you. What worries me is when you say, can they cause assertions or I am corruptions? It sounds like you're having assertions and I am corruptions, in which case you just want to call Microsoft for support, provide them with the memory dumps for whenever the assertions are happening. Um, and they'll be glad to read the memory dumps for you and uh, give you a root. I, I say root cause analysis. They won't go into your code, but they'll say that this DLL, for example, was uh, uh, involved when the thing went down. Um, generally speaking, SQL Server shouldn't be having assertions or IAM corruptions. So I, I wouldn't necessarily jump straight to the DLLs or to somebody's code. I would do a holistic environment review and just say, okay, what all else have we got going on here that might be suspicious? Normally when I see people doing assertion or having assertions, they're running on really crappy hardware, really crappy VMs, outdated drivers, and we just move everything towards more current stuff and then they're okay. But it's, it's theoretically possible that the uh, C-sharp code could be doing it.